Welcome everybody to TalkToCanadians.com. I'm Trevor, this is Luke. I'm sure you remember both of us, especially Luke here. Um, anyways, we've got a good lecture for you today, so let's, let's, let's begin. Yeah, let's go. So, today, Jackie is coming out. Jackie is a very creative person. So, in the media industry, the media industry, the media industry, the TV 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 industry, the Start. Um, she used to be working for, you know, big media company, and she realized that she would like to kind of take a leap, um, kind of like working as an entrepreneur, right? 자, 제가 이제 take a leap라는 표현을 사용했어요. Take a leap라는 표현 같은 경우 되게 어, 많이 사용하는 표현이에요. 저도 많이 들어봤고 어, 사람들이 어떤 걸 시도할 때 take a leap 했다 이런 표현을 많이 사용하거든요. 자, 그래서 한번 트래버한테 물어볼게요. Hey, Trevor, what do you mean by take a leap? Well, take a leap literally means just to like ah, take a jump. Okay. But in this sense, uh, take a leap basically means to, to just uh, get out there, just to, to go, to start. Okay. That's, think of it this way. I, I always imagine take a leap as mm. in there's, there's cold water, you don't want to jump in. It's a swimming pool, it's cold, mm. you know it's cold. It's going to be fun once you get in there. Ah. You just got to take that leap. You just got to jump in there and just do it. Ah. So take a leap 라는 표현 같은 경우는 너무 많은 걸 생각하지 말고 정말 자기가 그걸 하고 싶으면 정말 수영장에 가서 물이 좀 차갑잖아요. 그럼 너무 이렇게 아 이렇게 아 너무 차가워 이렇게 하지 말고 가라고요. 가서 그냥 점프를 하라는 말이에요. 알겠죠? 그게 take a leap 라는 표현입니다. 자, moving on to the next one. I've been in the media industry for the last 10 years and um, I've wanted to run my own business for mm -hmm. as long as I can remember. So, as long as I can remember. As long as 라는 표현 같은 경우는 많이 사용하는 표현입니다. 자, 그래서 여기서 제키가 as long as I can remember 이라는 표현인데 내가 기억하는 한 정도의 의미가 있는 것 같아요. 자, 그래서 일단 우리가 트래블 선생님, 원어민 선생님한테 물어보도록 할게요. Hey, Trevor, so when can we use this expression? As long as something. So, can you give us some example? Well, I guess you're going to have to break it down into two things. So the okay. first one is you can say, for example, what she said, as long as I can remember. For as long as I can remember, that really means that you're, you're thinking back to your first memories. As, as long as I can remember, as, as far back in my, my early memories, mm. I've wanted to do this. So you can say as long as, for example, as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be on TalkToCanadians.com. Oh, oh, as long as I can remember. Oh, wow, thanks. But uh, the other option is as long as, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's more of a, 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 how do I explain it? Basically, uh, conditional sentences. Mm. So you're thinking uh, as long as... Um, Can I make a sentence? As long as you do your best, as long as you continuously watch TalkToCanadians.com and you will master English. What do you think about that? Exactly. Uh, that's, that's a great sentence there. Yeah. As long as, and then you got to put something, as, as long as an action, yeah. and then something will happen. Mm. So as long as I study English, mm. I will get better at it. Mm. So as long as 같은 경우는 쉽게 말하면 if sentence하고 좀 비슷한 것 같아요. If you do something and something is going to happen 하고 좀 비슷한 말인 것 같아요. 그래서 as long as 다음에 자기가 해야 하는 것 집어넣고 그 다음에 결과가 나온다 이렇게 생각하시면 될것 같습니다. 자 넘어갈게요. Let's move on. Oh, okay. And uh, like just about everybody, you know, I went to school, mm. graduated, had to pay bills, mm. so got a job. Um, but I really lucked out and uh, worked with the uh, a really great organization. 자 어, 지금 제키가 뭐라고 상당히 빨리 말했어요. She spoke so fast, so I kind of missed it. Uh, maybe lucked out, I guess. She, she, said, yep. right? she said lucked out. Uh, maybe I lucked out. Mm. Have you heard that expression before? Uh, I heard about it, but not that often. Most people say lucky. Maybe? Yeah. Well, it, it comes from the same idea. To, to luck out means mm. to become lucky. Mm. So, what about fortune? Some people say fortune. Like, uh, I was fortunate. Something. Is this a similar expression? It's similar, but you're not going to say I was fortunate out or I fortunate out because okay. that just doesn't sort of make sense in English. Mm. So, you're going to say I lucked out um, to mean that I was lucky. I was lucky. Okay. Can I say I was fortunate to find a job? Something like that. You can also say I was fortunate. So, I was fortunate, mm. I lucked out, mm. and I got lucky or I was lucky. Okay. So, what's the matter? So, lucked out, 같은 경우는 쉽게 말하면 Lucky, 
난 행운이 있었어. 이런 정도의미가 있겠습니다. But um, I'm a fine arts girl. Mm. Um, you know, I love all things creative from yeah. writing to dancing to singing. 자, fine arts 같은 경우는 쉽게 말하면 fine arts 같은 경우는 art라는 게 예술이잖아요. 그래서 fine이라는 것은 어, 쉽게 말하면 다양한 어떠한 예술 분야. 좀 자세하게 들어간다라고 볼수 있을 것 같아요. 자, 그래서 이거를 굳이 트레버한테 물어보진 않겠어요. 왜냐하면 트레버 같은 경우는 fine arts에 대해서 잘 모르는 것 같아요. Hey, do you know anything about fine arts? Uh, personally, not not so much. Uh, I would say it basically fine arts are yeah. going to be anything that you see in a museum music, or in a yeah. theater for painting, dancing, painting. Music, yeah, it, so, somebody yeah. who has some kind of uh, I would call it classical training. So they've uh-huh. they've looked at sort of the the, the genre, the different uh, uh-huh. fields of art, the different types of dancing or, or like, painting. It's like they're studying a little bit of pieces of pretty much you know uh, a lot of art things, right? Art history, yeah, yeah. Uh, who creates art, what is art, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. that's sort of the background of the people who who make up the fine arts. Yeah. So, fine arts 같은 경우 여러분들이 직접 가서 한번 찾아보세요. 그런다면 읽어보세요. 그게 오히려 저희가 어, expression 그 설명을 드리는 것보다도 더 나을 것 같다는 생각을 합니다. Moving on. I feel like our industry is very focused on business initiatives yeah. and not focused on developing talent. 자 여기 보면 initiative라는 표현이 나왔어요. Business initiatives. 자 제가 생각하기에는 어, 캐나다 이 미디어 인더스트리가 어, 비즈니스 이니시티브에 포커스를 맞추고 있다라는 정도로 해석이 될 텐데 이니시티브라는 게잘 이해가 안 되는 부분이 없잖아 있습니다. 자, 그러면 한번 트레버한테 물어볼게요. Hey Trevor, so she said, uh, Canadian media industry uh, focused on business initiatives. So in this context, what does initiative mean? Uh, I would sort of explain business initiative as the, the main focus of. Mm. Whatever an industry that you're looking at. So she's talking about the media industry and saying the media industry is business initiative or mm-hmm. initiated by business, which basically means that it's it's motivated, it's it's uh-huh. drive, it's the reason why it's really uh-huh. why everyone has a job yeah. is to make money for the business. Uh-huh. That's the initiative. Ah, uh, so 여기서 보면 initiative 같은 경우는 initiate이라는 게 어떤 걸 시작하게 하는 거잖아요. 그래서 business initiation 같은 경우는 쉽게 말하면 아, 비즈니스 이니시티브 같은 경우는 아마 그 목적 정도 의미가 있는 것 같아요. 그거를 하게 하는 목적. 그래서 캐나다 인더스트리, 미디어 인더스트리가 너무 그돈 버는 목적, 그 비즈니스를 하는 목적에 너무 포커스를 맞추고 있는 것 같다라고 말을 하고 있어요. 근데 이 이니시티브라 이니시브라는 표현은 솔직히 이 표현보다 더 많이 사용하는 게 take the initiative라는 표현. take the initiative. 자 그런 표현 같은 거 많이 사용하거든요. 트래블 선생님한테 물어볼게요. 트래블, can you explain about take the initiative? Well, take the initiative as actually going to be uh, a bit different than business initiative or that kind of uh, form of initiative. So take the initiative basically, um, again, I would, I would sort of describe it as moving yourself out there to, to, to take the first step, so to speak, yeah. to, to begin, to, to start. Yeah. The great example is when you go to the talking event, instead of waiting for people to come to you and just go take the initiative. Take the initiative approach and talk to them. You be yeah. the first one to go and talk, yeah. not not waiting for someone to talk to you. Because yeah. take the initiative. Initiative 하는 게 상당히 중요합니다, 여러분들. 알겠죠? 넘어갈게요. And I wanted to do something that that could access them, that could mm. feature them and mm. showcase them, and specifically in a way that um, is efficient. So feature them and showcase them. 이렇게 말을 했어요. 자, feature이라는 표현 같은 경우는 뭐 어느 정도 아실 것 같고 제가 설명하고 싶은 거는 쇼케이스라는 표현입니다. 그래서 쇼케이스라는 표현이 어떤 의미가 있는지 쇼라는 거 아시죠? 쇼라는 거는 뭐뭐쇼 그냥 뭐쇼 뭐 보여주는 거잖아요. 그다음 케이스 쇼케이스라는 거 아마 들어보셨을 거예요. 그 어떠한 것을 진열하는 이런 정도 의미가 있는데 진열장 정도 의미가 있거든요. 한번 트레버한테 물어보도록 할게요. 트레버. So she said showcase talent, showcase something. What do you mean by showcase something? Well, to showcase is to show off. It's it's the main thing that you want to present to somebody. Mm-hmm. So, for example, she's talking about showcasing talents. So, the main thing that she wants is to have people's talents at the front and center of whatever is happening. They want she wants their talents to be seen mm-hmm. first, and that's kind of the showcase idea mm-hmm. to show off mm-hmm. to the main event, so the main have, thing. Yeah. So, if you have something that you want to share with a lot of people and if you want to be the center of the attention then you need to showcase your talent talking to people 
having a chance to share with people and you are showcasing your talent. Those are perfect exactly. examples of showcase. 음, 여러분들 이해되셨죠? 쇼케이스라는 것은 어떠한 가지고 있는 그와 같은 자기의 재능이나 이와 같은 것, 그와 같은 것을 남들에게 보여주는 거예요. 그죠? 약간 좀 쇼업 하는 거겠죠? 자, 넘어갈게요. So even if you are maybe an executive or a casting agent or a manager, 음. you can go to this site and find exactly what you're looking for. 자, 일단은 뭐 캐스팅 에이전트 같은 경우는 어, 캐스팅, 캐스트라는 거 들어보셨죠? 어, 이렇게 뭐그 영화를 찍는다고 했을 때 캐스팅을 하는 거 여러분들 다 아실 거예요. 그래서 캐스팅 에이전트라는 것은 캐스팅하는 걸 도와주는 그런 걸 말하는 거고요. 그 다음에 executive라는 표현이 나왔어요. executive. So, Trevor한테 한번 물어볼게요. Trevor, she said executive. So, what do you mean by executive here in this context? Executive is just a, it's a position in, in a business. Yeah, CEO maybe like. Sure. Executive officer, CEO. 여러분들 그, 그 경영하는 사람 있잖아요. 그 회사를 경영하는 사람을 보통 이제 그 CEO라고 하죠. 거기 보면 C가 Chief라는 말이고 그 다음 E가 뭐지? 뭐지? Executive. Executive, yeah, 그쵸? <웃음> And O가 Officer. 이런 정도의 의미가 있습니다. 그래서 Executive 하면 어, 기업을 경영하는 사람 이런 표현이 있어요. Find exactly what you're looking for, mm. not randomly, but actually is is a site that that caters to mm. the needs of our business. Caters to the needs of our business. Cater to라는 표현 상당히 중요한 표현이거든요. What is cater to? Cater to the needs of our business. Trevor, can you explain? Sure. Um, have you ever eaten food at a business function? Oh yeah, of course. Do you know who brought that food? Uh, yeah, catering service. Yeah, I the think. catering service, the catering company. Basically, you phone up a company, yeah. you tell them, I want food and I want it here and I want it at this time. And mm -hmm. they are catering to your needs, they're catering ah. to your event. So, what she means by catering is not people coming to bring food, but ah. to a business that basically is designed to do what you want them to do. Ah. So, you tell them, I want this, I want it now, and I want it this way. Maybe, you know, I can make a sentence like this, right here, we are standing up, explaining this to our viewers. So this lecture is catered to the needs of Korean people who want to improve their speaking skill. What do you think about that? I would that? say that is a perfect example. Thank you. 여러분들 아시겠죠? Tailor to 같은 경우는 비슷한 표현 하나 더 설명해 드릴게요. Tailor to 라는 표현도 비슷한 표현이에요. Cater, tailor to, 비슷한 표현이죠. Do you know like a tailor to, right? Yeah. So similar expression, cater to, tailor to. Exactly. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Let's move on to the next one. And in a way that's really visual. So, wow. you know, it's it's about literally seeing what a person can do. Literally seeing what a person can do. Literally, I'm going to use a lot of words. Literally. Trevor, what is, what is that? Literally. Uh, literally is just it's a it's a way of saying for real. Mm. No no bells and whistles. No extravagant. Uh, wow, that's and, a tough expression, right? Bells and whistles. Bells and whistles. Yeah. Basically, I'm just trying to say yeah. that there's nothing attached to it. It's only the real and pure thing. Mm, as the way it is, right? As the, as way, the way, it way it is. Yeah, without exaggeration, without any extra things adding up. So, 쉽게 말하면 그 uh, literally. 자, 이 발음도 어떤 발음? Can you pronounce like uh, literally or literally? How can I pronounce it? Uh, I guess when you're going to pronounce it slow and carefully, it's literally. 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 But in quick speech, it's going to be literally. Literally. Yeah, literally. It. So the literally. T is not so hard. Literally. Literally. So literally, 같은 경우는 그냥 그 자체 그대로라는 표현이 있어요. 이해되셨죠? Let's move on. And you know, and that's one of the things I like when you told me about your idea is yeah. that you want to, you want to, you want to really just blow up the system and, and do things differently and, and I like that kind of anarchy. 자, 여기 보면 지금 그 do things differently 하고 나서 I like that kind of anarchy 이렇게 말을 했어요. Anarchy라는 표현 상당히 좀 어, 어려운 표현일 수 있다고 저는 생각을 하거든요. 그래서 한번 물어볼게요. In this context. Hey, Trevor, so in this context she used anarchy, right? Uh, yep. Can you explain? I think in this context you're going to look at it as no rules. Anarchy means that you don't follow the, the normal rule, the, the, the system that is set up. You, mm. you do something outside of those. Mm. Anarchy 같은 경우는 그 무정부 상태, 정부가 없는 거죠. Government가 있는데 그 Government가 없는 거예요. No Government. 그러면 막 사람들이 막 이쪽으로 갔다 저쪽으로 갔다가 뭐 rule하고 regulation이 없으니까요. 그렇게 되겠죠? 근데 여기는 긍정적인 의미에서 사용을 한 거예요. 그래서 어떠한 그 변화를 하려면요. 
다른 사람하고 어떤 다른 그런 게 있어야 될거 아니에요? 그래서 so, 제가 보기에는 여기서 anarchy의 의미는 uh, renovation, something that is really different from what people have tried so far. 이런 정도의 의미가 있는 것 같아요. 그동안, 그동안 했던 사람들하고 다른 어떤 것, 그와 같은 걸 하는 그런 걸 anarchy라고 표현했죠? Moving on to the next one. So, so yeah, so I want people to, to, to reach out and, and I, you know, it, it is going to be a team effort. It's going to be something that's going to, you know, I need a lot of people to, to okay. throw, their, throw their hat in the ring, yeah. Ah, need a lot of people to throw hat in the ring. Hat in the ring, 이란 표현. Throw hat in the ring. Hat은 모자잖아요. Ring은 뭐 고리인데요. 모자를 고리에다가 한다 이게 무슨 말이죠? Hey, Trevor, throw hat in the ring? What do you mean by that? Um, I'm sure that's that's going to be a really old expression, yeah. and it has a lot to do with volunteering. It, it basically comes with the idea of volunteering, mm. and I think what you can imagine is a long time ago, mm. uh, maybe a hundred years ago or so, people at, at an event, mm. and there's a stage, or there's, there's an area, there's a ring where something's being presented, yeah, yeah. And, and somebody says, do I have a volunteer? Ah. So you take your hat off and you threw it into the ring, and mm. the people would pick up the hat and say, whose hat is that? Oh. And you say, that's my hat. Okay. And you sort of, you've volunteered. So mm. it, it, it comes from a very old expression, but as we use it now, I think it really just means to volunteer, to, to take the initiative, to take the first step and volunteer. Ah, oh, okay. What about this expression? This expression is pretty similar. Step up to the plate. Step up to the plate. Similar expression? I would say it's similar, but there are some differences. Okay. So step up to the plate and throw your hat in the ring. You're both trying to take initiative. Mm. Whereas throwing your hat into the ring means that you, you're, you're applying to take over or trying to take on mm. a, 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 a task of some sort. Okay. Whereas stepping up to the plate is more trying to show that you're capable, that you're able ah. to do that task. So not only are you a, are volunteering or trying to but take have, on the task, yeah, but you, you have, have the ability, ability like to do okay. it as well. Ah, okay. So, 그 step up to the plate라는 표현을 좀 제가 많이 들어봤어요. 그 원어민들하고 이제 대화를 하면서 step up to the plate라는 표현 많이 들어봤고 take the initiative라는 표현도 많이 들어봤고 이 throw hat in the ring이라는 표현을 많이 들어보지 못했거든요. So throw hat in the ring 같은 경우 약간 좀 소극적인 정도의 의미가 있는 것 같아요. 바른티어를 하는데 약간 소극적. 하지만 step up to the plate나 take the initiative 같은 경우는 어떤 자기가 능력이 있고 그것을 보여주는 것 정도의 의미가 있는 것 같습니다. Okay? All right, let's move on. So I'm gonna take a different kind of spin. Mm -hmm. um, 자, 제가 take a different spin이라는 표현을 사용했어요. Take a dip, different spin. Spin이라는 건 아시죠? Spin. 예, 돌아가는 게 이제 spin인데요. 어, 돌아가는 거 spin. Take a different spin. What is that? Um, to take a different spin means to, to take a different perspective, to take a different view on something. 아, so take a different spin이라는 것은 다시 말하면 이쪽으로 지금 이렇게 돌아간다고 생각을 해보세요. 이런 쪽으로 돌아가는 것을 말을 했어요. 이제 이런 쪽이 아니라 이쪽으로 갈 거예요. 그러면 다른 분야에 다른 이야기를 좀 해보자 이런 정도 의미가 있죠. Take a different spin. 그런데 spin이라는 표현은 또 다른 의미가 또 있어요. 어떤 의미가, 의미, 의미가 있는지 한번 물어볼게요. Uh, Trevor, yep. I heard one of my friends when he bought a new car and he said, let's go for a spin or something. What yeah, let's take a spin. Let's go for yeah. a spin. What uh, is that? Well, that basically means that you're going for a drive. You're going for a car ride. Okay. Uh, spin, he, he's referring to the wheels and they're ah, spinning. Wheels. Let's take a spin. Spin. Oh. Um, now, take a different spin doesn't really mean take a different car. It, it, it's actually a completely different meaning. Take a ah. different spin has to do with with your perspective and, ah. and the way you are looking at things. Ah. And taking a spin has everything to do with just ah. driving your car. So take a spin 같은 경우는 driving 하는 거예요. 그다음 뭐 go for a spin 비슷한 의미가 있죠. 그 spin 같은 경우 돌아가잖아요. Wheel 있죠. 바퀴가 돌아가잖아요. 거기서 나온 표현 같아요. 다시 한번 take a spin, go for a spin. 그 다음, take a different spin 같은 경우는 다른 이야기를 한번 해보자. 이런 정도 의미가 있어요. Let's move on! Just do it. I mean, get out there, meet people, um, pick up a camera. The internet is, is it's a playground, right? Mm -hmm. So get up there and, and tell your story. 자, 제키가 지금 인터넷 is playground라는 표현을 사용했는데 playground은 놀이터잖아요, 놀이터. <웃음> 인터넷이 놀이터? 잘 모르겠어요. 무슨 말인지. 물어볼게요. Hey, uh, Trevor, so she said internet is 
playground. What do you mean by playground? Yeah, the internet is a playground. I think really what what we're dealing here is not just yeah. the idea of the internet as a place that's fun, mm -hmm. like a playground, mm -hmm. but also the idea that as a kid, remember when we went to playgrounds as a kid, we used our imaginations. Mm. The playground was there as the solid structure, and our imaginations were there to create the stories and the games that we played. Mm -hmm. So when she says the internet is a playground, she means not only is it a place for you to play, but it's also a place for you to use your imagination and create lots of different things, like you did when a kid, when you were a kid, mm -hmm. in the playground. 다시 말하면 그 인터넷 같은 경우는 많은 것을 우리가 그 creative thinking 있을 때 그것을 시도해 볼수 있는 그런 플랫폼이 될수 있잖아요. 어떠한 그 시도할 수 있는 어떤 발판이 될수 있는 거잖아요. 그런 정도의 의미가 있는 것 같다는 생각을 해요. Playground. 자, 넘어갈게요. Let's move on to the next one. So just get involved mm. and get used to using your voice and get used to sharing your ideas mm. and, and get used to criticism because you're going to get a lot of that too. So, so that would be really essentially the, the, the heart of the matter is just, mm. just to get out there and do it. So heart of the matter. 이런 표현이 있어요. Heart of the matter. Heart는 심장이잖아요. 심장 상당히 중요한 부분이죠. 그래서 heart of the matter 같은 경우는 아마 중요한 부분이라는 의미가 있는 것 같은데 한번 confirm 해볼게요. Hey Trevor, so she said heart of the matter. That expression. What is heart of the matter? Well, the heart of the matter is basically talking about the 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 main idea, mm. the the major specific point. 아, 제가 맞았네요. 그래서 heart라는 건 상당히 중요한 표현이 중요한 부분이니까 heart가 없으면 작동을 안할거 아니에요? 그래서 heart라는 것은 중요한 부분이라는 부분이 아, 그런 의미가 있습니다. 뭐 예를 들어서 heart of Toronto, heart of Toronto 하면 토론토에서 가장 중심이 되는 부분이 되겠죠. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, thank you for watching TalkToCanadians.com and so far I was with Jackie, such a creative soul. So I want you guys to actually help her out at the same time, you know, contact her and then try to get some idea from her. Okay? Take care. Bye. 자, 여러분들 그 오늘 수업 어땠나요? 자, 트래블하고 저하고 진짜 많은 그런 익스프레션을 설명을 했는데 정말로 이그 제키가 말 중에 중요한 표현들이 상당히 많았어요. 그리고 많은 걸 우리가 공부를 했는데요. 트래버 선생님한테 어떻게 오늘 느꼈는지 한번 물어볼게요. 트래버. And so this is your second time. And how do you feel like going through uh, the lecture? For the second time. Well, again, I, I was glad to be invited. Yeah. Uh, lots of fun, as always, yeah. and uh, there was a lot to work on. So yeah. uh, you, you might have to watch this once or twice to, to pick up everything yeah. here. Yeah, I think you know there were a lot of expressions that can be very useful that they can apply when they meet foreigners from Canada or United States and try to use them. For sure, Jackie and the way she was talking uh, is very typical of what you hear in Toronto. Ah, so it's okay. it would be good to, to learn a lot of what she was she was saying. 여러분들 이해되셨죠? 자, 그러면 저희는 이만 물러가도록 하겠습니다. 자, uh, time to say goodbye to our viewers. Alright? Ciao. Ciao. Take care. Bye.